Mount's garage. Welcome back guys, in this video I will show you how to install a battery disconnect switch. So this is the disconnect switch we're putting in. It's summit part number SUM-G1432. It comes with a sticker on an off sticker and this is the switch. Now the reason we bought this one is because this is rated for a 6 volt system for this car. But of course you get the proper one for your car. Um, over here they recommend putting it between the positive uh, cable going to the starter. In this case, this car, we're going to put on a negative side because this is it's, it's a reversed polarity. Uh, the negative is the ground in this car. Sorry, the positive is the ground in this car. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the negative side because that goes to the starter. Now there's different reasons for installing this. We're putting this in because one, we don't want uh, when we store the car, uh, this has cloth wires on there. We don't want to start a fire in case it rubs somewhere. So we just go ahead and put this on and, and shut the whole system off. No current going to anything. Um, this is also good so your battery doesn't drain if you have a small draw. Uh, also some people put these in uh, for the track. Um, so when they're driving the track and something goes wrong for safety reasons, they could go ahead and, and shut this off. Now when you do that, you got to put this uh, the NHRA legal way, which is you have to separate, you have to isolate on one side of this, the alternator and the battery, and the other side is everything else, the ignition stuff and everything else that powers the car. So when you do shut this off, it shuts off the whole car. So I'm going to go ahead now and install this. So this is the interior of the car. This is underneath where the driver sits. Uh, we're thinking of putting the switch under here. So all the, all the driver has to do is go underneath here and click it off before they leave the car. And what we're going to do is, this is the negative side of the battery. This goes, like I said, to the starter. I'm going to make a bracket over here or over here. Go straight here, up here, and mount it up in here and put the disconnect switch over here. And make sure the battery cable reaches there. And we might have to make another battery cable for this side. But we might have enough cable here. And we'll see. So let's begin. I'm going to use this 2 inch flat stock by eighth of an inch and I'm going to use a piece of cardboard here as my template. I'm going to make the bends on the cardboard first, the bracket. Alright, so we're going to make a hole here, it's going to go through there, and these, these bolts here already that go through the frame, through the body of the car, so we're going to use those, and then we're going to make a hole here, it's going to angle this up to where we want it, right there. Should be good, just like that. All right, now this is where the angle should be, and just mark it over there. And I want to cut it over here and make a hole over here. And cut her, baby! Now I'm going to make a hole here for the bolt to go through. And before you tap her, you put some tap magic. A little bit of butter sauce before you tap it. And go ahead and start the hole. Drill that hole, baby! The hole's nice and wide, baby. Now to bend her over.
Yeah, baby. All right, now let's slide her in, just like that. I got a new bolt. Slide her in. Tighten her down. That's good. Now make another hole right here. And drill her. Now put the bolt in here. And that's good. Okay, so we want this to be somewhere here. That's about right. So, you could draw a line down in the center. So somewhere here, X marks the spot. Okay, now I'm gonna use a three quarter inch hole saw. And drill through here. Do burring tool just to clean out the hole a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put the on off sticker. That. It's perfect, baby. Look at that. But the knob comes off a little flathead. I marked where the top is. And this goes in like that. And now on this side, you put the nut and tighten her down. Now put the knob on, off and on, and put the screw in. Look at that. Woo! Alright, so I'm going to cut this around here. That should be a good spot. All right, now I put the lug in the vise because I want a bit of a 90 degree bend here. So let's actually go a little lower on the vise right there. That is the perfect angle. Put a heat shrink tube on here and now here we're gonna cut the sheathing off around here, around there. Let's go around and cut that. And this comes right off. 
just like that. Now, slider in and make sure the terminal is angled nicely, which it is. Right there. So, go ahead and crimp that. Okay, now we're going to use a crimping tool. Go ahead and crimp this. Yeah, baby. Woo! Nice and tight. Now pull the heat shrink up. Now put this on here. And tighten this one down. And that's good. Okay, now we're going to make this cable off the car. So I already cut that. That comes off. Put the heat shrink tube on, and this is a different way of putting a crimp on here. Is this thing here? You just snap it over in the middle. I'm gonna put a link in the description below on where to get this. It's really cheap. And then pop this down like that. Take your hammer and hammer it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Tug that. That's good. Pull that up and heat it down. Done. All right, now on this side, we're going to do this. We're going to put the lug over here. This is the wire we just made. So I'm just going to put this lug like this and crimp it on there. When you do these lugs, they have to be uh, straight and aligned or else it's not going to go on well. So I'm just going to go put this on there. And I'm just going to run a line here and run a line here. Make sure it's aligned. I'm going to put this on. Alright, so this is done. Go ahead and put this in the car now. Okay, now I can put this in here, put this sleeve in here, I can tighten this down, there, put that there, it goes there. And I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these down. That's good. Terminal's tight. Okay, and that's tight. So this is all done. And we could put this boot on. And we're just going to do the same thing on the positive side. And... This battery is done. This is pretty much it. Um, we're going to put the seat on and see how it, it is turning it on and off while sitting down in the seat. Alright, now that the seat's in place and all you're going to do is go underneath, switch it on and off. And that's how you install a battery disconnect. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me and share me. See ya!